At 23 years old, I am excited to officially announce I am moving out of my parents' house. Hi. Been a long time coming. If you've been following for any amount of time, you know that after I graduated from the University of Alabama in 2022, I was gonna be home just for the summer. That summer turned into a year and a half and I am finally moving out of this bedroom. I'm so excited. Y'all know I still have stuff in storage in Birmingham, Alabama. That's getting pulled down in just about two weeks and everything is finally falling into place. So I thought I would document this moving journey with you guys. This is like my first actual big girl move and let me tell you I'm actually so terrified and so scared. It's just kind of become a thing where I've had like a couple different home bases here or there and I'm literally going to have an apartment. I'll get all into the details once I do a drive with me and kind of talk about where I'm moving, what the situation is, how everything worked out the way it is. But in the first series of documenting moving out, I have to actually move my stuff out. I started to do just a little bit just because it made sense for me the other day to move a couple of things. But for the most part, everything is still here. I've got clothes, I've got all kinds of stuff in this armoire here, I've got stuff in all these drawers. So it is going to be quite a journey to move all of this out, but I'm excited to bring you guys along for it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gracie, and I am a travel and lifestyle content creator who is still living at home with her parents only for a couple more weeks. So I'm excited to bring you guys along on the moving journey. Make sure you hit subscribe if you are not subscribed down below so you don't miss any of it and all of the new adventures to come and let's get into moving some stuff out. So just taking you off the tripod so I can quickly show you everything that we're gonna need to accomplish over the next little bit. This is the closet. It is totally filled. Every drawer, every everything with clothes, shoes. I've got extra hangers down here. We've got a ton of stuff around the room. This is no clean project. Honestly, these shoes could probably be picked up. I've got a Celsius because this is going to take a few days time. And then inside the guest room, I have taken over. So here are some of the things that I have moved out. Just little things out of my room that were easy, like this book. And I've got this pillow, some other stuff that was just really easy to move out. Same at the bottom is a lot of like my, my Mickey ears and some wine glasses and different things that were just placed around my room. I have purchased a four pack of 105 quart boxes, which are in here, which are way bigger than that one that I just showed you. And then six of these boxes that are 66 quarts. I got all of these off of Walmart's website and just had them literally shipped to my house. I also have some boxes here, some stuff that came from Amazon, like stuff for my bar car, a shaker, we've got a cast iron pan, we've got a duvet insert. This is some PR from Peach and Lily, freaking love them. Just some other things like that. And then another box up here with some more glassware for my bar cart and things like that. But for the most part, everything still exists, not only in my bathroom, which you can see I'm like half living out of a bathroom bag, half of my stuff's on the counter. It's honestly a mess, y'all. And then all of these drawers, I'm not gonna be taking anything off my bed. And then all inside this armoire cabinet, I've gotta get all of this out of here in the next three days or so. I feel like I just absolutely don't know where to start, but I am gonna start with the closet because I need to go through these clothes. I'm not sure that I'm going to be taking everything with me. So I have a garbage bag in case anything needs to be thrown away. And I have a donate bag, which already has a couple things in it. The goal is to donate everything, but sometimes there's just things that aren't up to par with quality or something's ripped or anything like that. I might have to go in the trash bag or who knows, I might find like tags and other things that just need to be tossed. So I'm going to start by going through my closet. I love clothes. If you can't tell, I love shoes. So I'm probably just going to start with the drawers and the hanging stuff I'm gonna go get a bin so I can start to fold things and put it in the bin beside me if it is going back to where I'm moving so let's get started on doing the closet for the stuff that is on hangers those are actually gonna go in garbage bags because obviously the hangers are coming with and I grabbed one of the big boy bins this one's missing a latch uh -oh. I will say for my new closet, I do not need these bins. So I'm going to empty them out and leave them here for my mom and other guests that will now be using my room as a guest room. <laughs> So I've 
I've officially gone through all six of these bins and everything that I'm keeping is in this bin. Got plenty of stuff in the donate bin and then this green bin right here is full of stuff I want my sister to look over. So sometimes when I think I wanna donate something but that she might like it, I keep it in there. I also have a little pile right here for my mom. So they love when that happens. But now since I'm already on the floor, since this bin is almost full, I'm going to switch over to this dresser that I have here and go through that because those are also things that will need to go in a bin. Yet another day cleaning out my room, getting ready to move out of my parents' house. Today we're tackling the hanging stuff in the closet. I will not lie, I have already pulled out a lot of the shoes. They are in this bin right here. I'm so sorry that I did that without y'all, but I just feel like some of this is kind of like, you want some explanation of more of the tactics, not necessarily seeing how I'm doing things or just kind of wanting to come through this process with me. I have already pulled out a couple things from the shirts, which are down here in this rack. I have gone through all of the tops. I guess most of the tops, anything on this bottom row I have done but all of the dresses all of the workout stuff this whole side is like I don't even know what this all is and it goes pretty deep like now my hand is touching the wall so we got a lot of stuff on this rack here too and I'm just gonna kind of go through things I'm using this rule and I'm really trying to stick to it if I have not worn it or thought about it in the last six months will I wear it or think about it in the next six months if the answer is no then I'm gonna get rid of it I tend to be like oh but if 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 this exact circumstance happened I would wear this again or I would wear this and I've just realized that that's just not the way to do it because typically I'll just start to reach for things that I know that I love and wear all the time so I'm really gonna be critical of it and I am donating, like I said, I have donation bags. My dad has connections and we know they get donated to a great place. This woman who helps volunteers with a bunch of people who are truly in need and not necessarily goodwill. I do have a pile of things I'm gonna sell and that just really is anything I think is of great value. Like I have some outdoor voices, some Lily Pulitzer and I believe I'll just like list those on Poshmark or something whenever I'm ready. But I am gonna go through this side probably first. I'm just gonna try and pull things out and I'm gonna separate them on my bed. So I'm gonna pull you back a little bit too. Y'all here so that you can see little bit of what's going on. The way that I do hanging stuff, and I've done this ever since college, is a trash bag. And what you do, you're gonna get a bunch of hangers together, right? You're gonna poke a hole in the top middle of the bag. So like right here, you'll pop a hole in the bag, stick a fingernail through it, just make an opening. And the hanger hooks come out of here and the rest of the clothes are in the trash bag. Then you can throw it in a car, throw it in a moving truck, whatever you're doing. If they are longer items, I'll try and like shove them up in there or anything. So I've got a ton of plastic bags to be able to go. Now I'm home for a couple more days. I'm going on a cruise with my boyfriend. I'm then home for a little bit. So I'm gonna pull out most things. I've already pretty much packed for the cruise, but if I do see something in here where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wanna wear that, it's a really short cruise, then I will pull it out, keep it out. And it's gonna be pretty bare bones. I'm gonna try and get a lot of things in the plastic bags already, just ready to go. And maybe just honestly hanging back up here in plastic bags, or I've been storing everything in my sister's room. Like like you've seen. So that's what I'm gonna do is start to go through. Then on the bed, what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you before I bag them all up, is I'm gonna have two piles. And one is gonna be the donate pile, and one is gonna be the to-go in a plastic bag pile. And if anything needs to stay in the closet for X, Y, Z reason, I'll hang it back up in the closet. But with the donate pile, then at the end, I'll take everything off the hangers and get it in the donate bag. And then the other clothes that are coming with will get bagged up in the trash bag to go. Does that all make sense? Okay, we're gonna get on with doing the closet. I'm first gonna put all of these aside into different categories. Like this one I've been wearing around the house a lot, so I'm just gonna kinda keep this out. But some of these tops I just have gone through and didn't put them back over there, so now I'm just gonna get them sorted. These are all keepers. The stuff that was hanging here toward the end of that last video, which I should have talked about, but I got really excited. That was stuff I was saving aside for my mom. Anything that's in either one of these two bins, which this bin is currently overflowing, these are the things that I'm going to be giving to Hannah to try. And then anything sort of in the meantime, I know I said I was just gonna put everything on the bed, but there were quite a few things, like this dress, for example. It's just a little too short, a little too cleavagey. I've literally never worn it. Got it at Forever 21, like forever ago. It's never been worn. Something like this would be way too short on Hannah, and my mom would not want the cleavage. So something that I don't wear that I know won't fit Hannah or my mom, stuff like that just went immediately into the donate bag, which 
is now currently overflowing. So I'm gonna need to go get another trash bag or use one of these trash bags for the overflow. But here is everything that is coming with on the move or everything I'm attempting to have come with. So I've sort of just divided it up for myself. I mean, I guess I haven't pulled out tops that are on this bottom rack yet, but I've got all my athletic wear tops that are on here. Some regular tops and then these are like dresses, rompers, two pieces. And then I have a couple things still hanging in the closet because I want to try them on. Either I'm not sure that they fit. One of the dresses I think is too short, but it is the most darling dress ever. And then two of the other things, I just don't remember really how they fit. So I've left them in the closet so that I could try them on at some point. And now what I'm gonna get to doing is starting to bag up some of these clothes. Anything I pulled out, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna be needing on the cruise. Otherwise I will pull it aside and pull it out. But I think for the most part, all of this can just be bagged up and ready to go. <laughs> I just said one and then I realized if you've never done this before, let me talk you through it. So like I explained earlier with the trash bag, rip a hole at the top middle like this. Super easy, poke your finger, rip it. You wanna be precise and cut it, great. Then I just open up the trash bag, give it a little bit of air and stick my finger up in this little hole so that I can hold it. And I'm holding it in one hand like this with my fingers inside. Take the stack of hangers. It doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, unless you're hanging it up, take the hand that's through the hole in the bag and grab the hangers through the bag and as you're holding them in this case it is my left hand and the hole can stretch while you're doing this that's fine too you then pull pull the trash bag over the hangers like this oh my hangers are all the way through the hole so see adjustments adjustments there you go through the bag and down like i said these aren't huge trash bags so little things like long sleeves hang out the bottom so if you do want to secure lay it flat on something just stick all those little pieces up in there so they're all in the trash bag and then literally give your trash bag a knot you will know that you are sacrificing trash bags by doing this but then everything is in there everything's inside you can do this with plastic hangers wooden hangers these slim metal hangers allow you obviously to have a ton of them in here easily able to stack them obviously when i stack them hangers to one side hangers to the other like flip-flop and alternate but there you go so now I've got this bag and this is the first one that I did I haven't closed it up but same thing just kind of fold it up in there and close it up and I've got a great way to transport all your clothes these are gonna go in the next room over and now they're ready to go ready to go in the car for at least for me in just a few days but so that y'all can see that easy peasy lemon squeezy and I'm just gonna do it with all of the clothes and I'll let you know how many bags this takes. So not only did I have that entire closet to go through, but I also am here now in my parents' office. This is where I keep all of my sweatshirts. I'm a big sweatshirt girl. I am cold all the time. It doesn't matter where I am. I mean, I'm literally in 80 degree Florida right now and I'm wearing this jacket this morning over my workout outfit, but I'm gonna go through my sweatshirts, see if there's anything that I'm gonna get rid of. I do have some coats down here on the bottom rack. My parents are heading up north this month, so I told my mom I would leave her all of the coats and jackets and I will look at that over Christmas break when I do my second round of moving out. But I'm going to go through all of these jackets and really try and be realistic about what I wear. Just I'm like so attached to sweatshirts and I've got some denim jackets and stuff in here, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna lay the ones that are coming out over here on the desk. So the closet is pretty much cleaned out based on what I'm keeping and what I am donating. I'm gonna ask my mom and my sister before it goes into the actual donation pile, just cause I know they like that kind of stuff. Here are the coats and warmer jackets I'm leaving for my mom. Then I have left just a few sweatshirts still up in here. For example, like this is a shirt from one of my good friends companies, the Palm Locals, and it's just like the cutest little Christmas shirt, which I know I will come back and wear. Sydney and I made these little girls gone gallivanting when we thought we were starting that Instagram. Just a couple of like memory kind of sweatshirts. I've got a pie fi shirt, an Alabama shirt, sweatshirt. And so I'm gonna just keep a few of these in here while I'm gone and decide if I'm taking these back at Christmas or if these can hang out at my parents' house for a little longer. So these now have to get bagged up in that same method. It looks like a lot, but it's jean jackets, it's heavy sweatshirts, it's all kinds of stuff. And then these I will go present as options to my mother. Now that I'm done with all the sweatshirts, I've moved them into my sister's room, which is being used as a holding place for everything. It's still a lot of clothes. I told you I'd keep you updated on how many 
many trash bags I used to get all of the hanging clothes back. I had decided that with the sweatshirts, I think I loaded maybe too many of them up into the first trash bag. So the second two aren't as full. I actually haven't closed them up at the bottom yet, but the first sweatshirts are over here. So that's one, two, three for the sweatshirts. And then for the other clothes, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I do have this pile still on the bed because I'm figuring out what I'm packing for the next couple of days, what I'm wearing for the next couple of days. Because already this morning when I went to church, I had to like dig through bins to find a skirt. So I still have some dresses and stuff here that need to be bagged up. So that's probably gonna be 10 or 11 bags. Should I have gotten rid of more stuff? Yeah, and it probably will be a problem fitting it into my next closet, but we'll see. I'm determined to try and make it work. If not, I'll do another donation bag up there. I don't know, I have a lot of pieces that are special to me, especially when it comes to sweatshirts. That stinks. So many sweatshirts I love and I'm already leaving a bunch here But there are just so many things that have a special moment special memory semester at sea stuff college stuff all kinds of things So I'm trying to do my best I just love holding on to memories in all the various ways that I can and a lot of that is through clothes Some people it's through pictures or books or XYZ for me. It's clothes just why it maybe looks quite excessive But this is just the reality I'm just being honest. Here's what it looks like so we've got all these trash bags. These are not all gonna fit on the way to the new place. We're piling stuff in two cars. So I sort of have in my head what bags are more important than others to make it up there before Christmas. I'm really only gonna be up there for two weeks before I come back down for Christmas. So it's really not that big of a deal. Just as long as I have things I know I'm gonna be wearing during that time period or that are more essential, like sweatshirts because it's cold. I've got some stuff on the ground right here and I've got a pile of bins here and what I did last night and I did not film this because it's so frustrating. This is my iMac. I have kept this box since the day I got it in college and it's a great way to you know bring it from place to place so I packed up my iMac which was actually in that office we were just in because I'm gonna finally have a desk and my own like workspace so packed up the Mac and that's got to make it on the first trip too so I'm now just trying to figure out what's gonna make it the last couple of things that I need to do are the bathroom I've not touched the bathroom yet and my jewelry which is in a specific drawer in the dresser the jewelry I don't think I'm really gonna film because it's probably just gonna be me throwing away jewelry or putting it into a little plastic bag that's my pride will film and just show you everything I'm gonna try and leave like a set of shampoo and conditioner face wash that kind of stuff some basic products at this house so that when I come home, I don't necessarily have to think about lugging all of those things with me, but hair tools, all the things like that need to come with. So we're gonna have to go through those and we're gonna do that next. Welcome to my bathroom where I've been living out of my travel bathroom bag. So the entire counter is an absolute mess. I'm actually gonna avoid the countertop when doing this. I'm gonna start with the little things down here. So let me just angle you down really quick. So I've got this drawer and this drawer, I believe filled with things. This is stuff for guests, but this drawer has got all my stuff in it and I believe, yeah, this bottom drawer. And of course, underneath in this cabinet. So I need to go through all of these, figure out what is important enough to come, what's gonna stay, and then when I'm packing it all in, maybe another little bin or something, but I'm just gonna sit on the ground. <laughs> go through it and get it done, make a pile for trash, make a pile for keep here to go. I don't really know, but I'm hoping I can get rid of a lot of it because so much stuff. <laughs> The cabinet is empty and everything is on the floor in front of me. I'm starting to put back in a couple of things that I'm gonna leave here, such as some shampoo, conditioner, witch hazel, baby powder, which can also be used as dry shampoo. And then I'm gonna go through everything that's on the floor. I've got like a lot of hair products right here. Maybe fade back. I've got a ton of stuff in my room too. It is an absolute mess, but this is just my way of doing things. If I make a total mess, I'll be more likely to clean that up. So I've got a bunch of hair products on the floor, just a bunch of things I wanna go through. Everything that ended up being trash, expired, X, Y, Z, one in this bag, a little pile of things right here I'm gonna offer to other people. And then I've got this basket that was down in there. And I think I'm gonna bring this to the new place. So I think anything that I'm gonna keep after, of course, cleaning it up, this is dirty. Anything that I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna start putting in this basket. I've got this really cool headband holder and a ton of headbands. So I'm just gonna try and go through and realistically think about what I've used recently and what I'm gonna use.
It is move out part 947. Not actually, that was so dramatic. And finally, we are getting some bags and things set up in the car. Austin's car is here, my car is here, and we are driving tomorrow. And I've gotta get everything in the car. So I think I wanna get it set up tonight or most of it tonight. Like, I'm not gonna put my iMac in the car, although that has to come, so we'll leave a space for that. But I'm gonna start with his trunk and start with all these plastic bags or trash bags full of clothes that I wanna bring. So I'm gonna start getting everything together and put it in the car. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it'll be too late, but I feel like y'all don't wanna see me actually putting it in the car, but I'll show you organization tactics. My goal is to get all the trash bags in his trunk, so he drives a smaller car than I do. He doesn't have like a big trunk space, like smaller trunk. I'm trying to layer the trash bags in the trunk and then put some of these smaller totes in the back seat. He also has his front seat open because we will be driving separately. So I think I'm gonna stick a suitcase or a backpack or something in the front seat of his car as well. I have tried to layer everything in importance of what I wanna bring. I'm going to just start to go through all of these trash bags and all of these bins and put some stuff in the car and show you how I do it. Good morning, it is officially move out day. So far, not as emotional as I thought it would be, but let's be real, the car isn't even fully packed yet, so I'm sure I will change my mind on this. And it's just, I've had a lot of emotions the past couple weeks about moving out and it's finally today, which is crazy. And we're finishing moving out of my parents' house. Here's the car situation looks right now. I have these two large bins I'm going to attempt to put my suitcase in between these and then figure out how to get one more of these bins in here and my Mac and another little suitcase. So a couple things to figure out and to organize this morning. I figured we'd start out with some of the big things that I absolutely need to have make it this first round. Here's the Big Mac. Large away suitcase. Oh, I'm hoping I can squeeze this right in here. That would be a dream. We're getting in. One of the wheels is stuck on the seat. Oh. I applaud myself because this is pretty strategic packing. There is nothing else that can fit over there. Holy smokes. Now this is almost maybe not gonna close, so I might have to go this way with it. Or lay it down, I'm not sure. But oh, that is a pretty good setup for the morning. I'm not too mad about that. Let's go get the other bin. All right. We've got the other bin. It's a little bit of a faulty bin because this one handle like literally will not stay latched on here. So if I do just want to leave the Mac standing up, which I will literally have to sit in the driver's seat and see if I feel like this blocks anything, then I do have room for my other suitcase and some more stuff to lay flat on the top. And I still have my front seat open. So I'm feeling very good about my organizational skills with everything that I've got. But first, let's see if this is actually gonna work because I wanna sit in the front seat. It's slim, but I don't think it's terrible. Luckily, it's not too long of a road trip, so I think that this is gonna work. And I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff that goes in the back of Austin's car. So basically, everything is in the car but my purse. So I'm gonna show you guys what the organization looks like. Here's my car, there's actually some more room. I think I'm gonna bring out my little lap desk and slide it in this section right here. But I've got two big suitcases, three of these large totes. This is full of hangers. This is my big iMac and everything in this car is ready to go up in the front seat. I just have like a sweatshirt and some shoes and that's my car. And then in Austin's car, here's the front seat, two trash bags of clothing. This has a bunch of boots in it and some Christmas ornaments, kind of some random stuff. This is his back seat, some more clothes back here, a couple of things for the bar card and some other two bins. These are smaller than the ones in my car. My Christmas radio. And then this is a frame for my diplomas. And then I have a couple more Christmas decorations and little things down there in that corner. And then finally in his trunk, all of these trash bags are clothes. And then this bag in here has some purses in it and a blanket. So I just kind of threw that on top, but that is everything. The last thing I need to find room for and I think I'm gonna stick in my front seat is this giant bottle of boob I got for my 21st birthday. When I mean giant, I mean it's like three times the size of the normal one. But I got that as a 21st birthday gift and that's gonna come and sit on the bar cart. But like I said, I need to pack up the rest of this. But other than that, the room is pretty much empty. There are a couple things that I'm gonna bring back after Christmas. So I'm gonna come home for Christmas and there's some shoes and other things that I will bring back with me. But for now, that is what I'm bringing with me to my new place. A lot of emotions today. Welcome to my room. If you've been following for any bit of time, this has been my room, my background backdrop for when I have been home for the past year and a half. And today I am moving out of my parents' house forever. 
I mean, maybe never say never, but I, at 23, almost 24 years old, a year and a half out of college and grad school, am finally moving to my own place. It feels very weird. There's been a lot of emotions for the past couple of weeks. I will hopefully never be permanently living in my parents' house again, which is, which is weird. I'm gonna talk about it in a drive with me, like how it feels and how different it is, but it's really bittersweet. I don't know what it is. Like, this is not my childhood bedroom. This is not my childhood house. I didn't even ever think I was living here for any good amount of time after graduating from college. But everything's falling into place. <laughs> and I'm moving to Tampa today. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for what's to come though. I really am. I'm gonna live 10 minutes down the street from my best friend, some of my other friends, my boyfriend. It's just like so ideal, but it's a lot of emotions. I do still have some stuff in this bedroom. I am coming home in like two weeks for Christmas. Like, let me not be dramatic. I'm moving four hours away from home. It's bittersweet. <laughs>